Well, the hit show Criminal Minds is in its 11th season on CBS. They've got a whole new episode tomorrow. The team back in action again. Kirsten Magnus is here. Welcome. Shall oh, we say I'm so Penelope? happy to be here. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> so this is great. How, how do you know your show's a hit? Well, how about 11 seasons? And then you get a spin-off, and you get and, to be on that, And too. not only that, but this episode that you're going to see that's going to air uh, tomorrow night, I co-wrote, which means I officially half-wrote it. I wrote two acts. Uh, Erica Messer, our executive mm -hmm. producer, wrote two acts, and we put them together. And uh, it is a big deal episode. Uh, it is a love letter to the fans for sure. It is you don't want to miss it, and you do not want to look at social media before Ooh, you watch it. It's don't a do big it. Deal. It's a big deal. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't want to give anything away. But yeah. you've done this before. You've written episodes. I co-wrote last year's episode mm -hmm. where we cleared up what happened with Mandy Patinkin's character Gideon that we. You, we killed him um, in our episode. <laughs> um, uh, not Mandy Patinkin, but but Gideon. Uh, and yeah, and it was and it was and it was the same kind of thing. I'm not. I have a really hard time with violence, and if you watch Criminal Minds, it's very violent. Uh, I am proud to say that this one. There's like 86% less violence and certainly like 69% <laughs> less gore, but I would say 34% more creepy because Matthew Gray Goobler, who plays Spencer Reed, directed the episode and he's a big fan of, of creepiness. Yes. <laughs> and and um, you know what I love? If, if you're writing, if there's somebody you don't like in the cast, you could just write them out. You could, huh? but I love them all, so it's perfectly fine. And this is a very family oriented strip. We're a big family. I have a movie that's coming out uh, April 1st to the 7th at the Lemley. And uh, I have three members of Criminal Minds right? in the movie. Shamar Moore, Joe Mantegna, and Paget Brewster is an extra in my movie. So uh, it's a family and affair. And it's a spoof, right? It's, it's a kind film of a noir course. spoof that takes place in the 40s. I can hold up. A, it's called Kill Me Deadly. Mm. And, uh, and is, is that you? That is me. Mm -hmm. I, I play Mona Livingston. Mona Livingston is just a small town girl just trying to get by. And if she has to shoot a couple people because of it, then that's just what happens. So Wait, you don't like violence. Wait, what oh. You, oh, I know, but in this, oh. I like, I love comedy violence. <laughs> comedy violence is completely different. Um, yeah, it's a film noir spoof. It's completely like rated G. Um, it's got Leslie Ann Down in it, Paul F. Tompkins. It's an amazing cast. And it's like if Airplane and the Maltese Falcon had a baby. <laughs> I know. It's, it, you've never seen anything like this before. And uh, we shot the whole thing in Los Angeles. It's a love letter to Los Angeles. It is such a thing to see. Oh, Shamar Moore's in my movie, too. I forgot. He plays, he plays uh, uh, Bill, the piano player. Um, Yes, and uh, so there's a lot of things to celebrate. I'm just so, and if it wasn't for this wonderful, gory, creepy, magical thing, I wouldn't be able to make weird movies. And I, I, I love that your character is, is kind of a geek. She's oh, kind, ki of, kind of a geek. She's nerdy. a huge, gigantic nerd. Yes, yes, yes. How do you uh, how do you wrap your mind around all that technical lingo and everything? That you, you have decide to that my modality is nothing like hers. I mm -hmm. will not be able to do what she does. I got a degree in theater. I did not get a degree in computer science. And then you just implement what you're passionate about. So like every time I talk about an algorithm, it's like kittens or space <laughs> or something I know a lot about, like Steve Martin. And I just sort of pretend that that's what I'm talking about. So if you keep infusing that in it, people go, oh, she's very. But really, it's just. It's noise in my head. I try to make it make sense. And you guys shoot everything here in LA, right? We do. We do. We shoot everything. It, it, they have to spend a certain degree of money to CGI mountains out when we're in a flatland. Or sometimes uh, we have our art department, which is just a genius art department because they make Los Angeles look like every part of America. They will actually wrap the trees, the palm trees, with like uh, bark. Uh, paper bark of indigenous trees to other states and um, and yeah we use the same set we use you know but the costume department they have like sections of mm -hmm. just um, police patches from different states. from all different mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh that's so interesting. yeah it's it's, 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 something, so else. it's something else thank you yeah. so much congratulations on the movie oh my gosh all thank you for thing. having me yes right. if you're around next week next week at yeah. the Lemley in at Beverly at the Lemley in Beverly Hills Kirsten thanks so much you can catch an all new Criminal Minds coming up tomorrow night nine o'clock on our sister station CBS two remember don't look at social media before for more information about Kirsten and Criminal Minds and all the good stuff happening with her just go to kcal9.com.